hello, and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to, and today, I want to try to, uh, make village look good. So, I have this village, and it has the proper number of houses, and I have put profession things on top of these houses. And the basic idea is that uh, I'm gonna try to make a video about each house, and make them look cool. And these are the blocks that I've picked to mostly work with. I'll probably throw some others on here, but the idea is I wanted to mostly use stuff that I would guess that they would have access to, you know? So nothing crazy. Once I'm done with all of the houses, then I will go back in and do some, some more landscaping and fitting of stuff together, and hopefully at the end we have a really cool looking village. So, this is the one that I want to start with, a cleric, because... It feels like I could do some fun, spooky stuff, because in Minecraft, the clerics have all the potions and everything, so I want to kind of just Bob Ross this <laughs> and uh, make whatever I come up with along the way and just freestyle it, because, well, that's usually most fun for me. But first, I am going to completely tear this house down, so we have plenty of space to work with. Now that I have this open space here, I want to make this market area kind of the center of the town, and I would like the houses around it to kind of have their own unique feeling, and so I would like to take this area, and I think I'm going to bring it down by a block or two to create a big kind of sunken in space for this place. Give it a little bit more dimension. It's gonna look a little bit weird until I add some other stuff around here, but it'll, it'll all come together in the end. This guy's in my way, though. You got, you're gonna have to just keep walking, just like that. No. Sir, I need you to move. Anyways. Let's dig a hole. All right, this is what we're working with so far. I think I like it. I think it will do what I want it to do, probably. I am going to begin, I think, with some of this and just create a little bit of an outline for what I want to do here. I think there's going to be a little, a little entryway here. Yeah, I think I will do it like this. One, two, three. I like having spaces that are uh, odd numbers between these. It just makes building so much nicer. One, two, three. Uh, let's do a little corner like this, maybe. I'm gonna bring this back just a little bit more. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Did I count that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't like it. I'm kind of, I'm feeling like I need to, to move this this way a bit more. Oh yeah, okay. This is nice. So, let me get rid of these. I don't like them anymore. Let's say we move these here. One, two, three, four, five, kaboom. And kaboom. One, two, three, four, five, kaboom. And kaboom. Yes, this is nice, this is nice. I think that this is good. So I'm going to take all of these and bring them up by three more blocks, except for these front two. Those will just go up by two more. Okay, so initially, I was kind of tempted to use uh, Deep Slate in this, but I'm kind of thinking the villagers don't have access to Deep Slate. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to use a little bit of mud, I think. Mm, let's just go in with this. We're gonna fill in these walls and just see how it looks. This is gonna look like really bad for a moment, but don't worry. I, I, well, I'm hoping since you've seen the thumbnail that you're not worried, but don't worry. It will all level out in the end. I am going to, um, I'm gonna pick a roof thing. I'm gonna do this. You think that three blocks high is enough for a, a weird little place like this? Let's just say that it is and roll with it. Beautiful. 
So now that we have that, I'm going to take this and we're going to put these right here. And then we're going to have a little two block gap there as well. And here, we're going to bring these up one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect. Now we have a weird little shape. And I like it. I like it a lot. I'm thinking, thinking we're going to go with granite for a roof. I'm just going to put in normal granite and then we'll mix it up from there. Again, this right now is just laying the foundations, a general idea that we can spice up and make look more interesting. So let's do something like this. All right, get a feel for the shape. How is it going to look? Is it the way I want it to? And the answer is no, it is not the way I want it to look. So we're going to get rid of this stuff. And I think we're going to let the, uh, the roof, we're gonna let it lower down a little bit more like this. Okay, I'm liking the direction of this so far, but I have firmly decided against the granite. So I'm gonna make an exception with the oak here because these ones just work together really well. I'm going to change this to spruce and we're going to take a little bit of a different approach than I was expecting to, but I'm just, I'm feeling it. So I'm going with it, you know? Yeah. I like that a lot. So then we are going to, um, yes, these two are the ones that we're going to lead with. I think we're just going to start with this mostly and see how it looks. So, what I want to do a little bit is give this a, a kind of sloping feel. So the roof is going to kind of cave inwards towards this. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to fill this in with these blocks. We can change them later if we want to. Okay, this is nice because now we have this kind of slope downwards there. Like it's being weighed down a little bit. I like that effect a lot. Okay. We're going to use this part of the roof as an example for what the rest of the roof can look like. So this is going to be brought out. Um, let's do... Am I making bats down here? <laughs> yeah, it's plenty dark enough. We might just do this. Yeah, I think we will. And then we can bring this out like this, because now we have a new barrier. Perfect. And then we'll go underneath and add all of these in. Oh, this is looking lovely. Okay. I think, though, I want a little more of a hoop right here. So I'm going to change that up a little bit. Um, let's, let's see if we can do something like this. Yeah, that gives me a little more of the effect that I'm wanting there. Nice. Okay. This is the general vibe of our roof. So we're going to have to trim this stuff and replace it here like this. And then I want to kind of do a similar thing over here. I want it to look like this tower. It's going to be an old house. So this tower has been here for a while and is kind of dragging the whole building inwards a little bit debating how I want to do this end piece since there's, you know, two, ah, two sections to it. Actually, you know what? Maybe I need to take that off again. <laughs> let's, let's just fiddle around with this and see what, see what looks good. We do that there. And then this stuff here, not super good, to be honest. I'm not really liking that a lot. No, this needs to have a little bit more height to it. Oh yeah, that that's getting better. It's getting better. All right, the other thing that I'm deciding is that I want to um, make this ending of the building an odd number instead of an even number. So I am going to change up this ending a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this wall and this. And I think, let's count just one here. Mm, let's put this right here. 
one, two, three, four. And then we're going to bring this out. One, two, three. Oop. And then we can count one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And then this is going to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what would be perfect here is a big old chimney. Something that goes like here to here. Okay, we'll, we'll leave those as a little bit of a marker for that later on. Okay, th this should work well. So gonna try to do the same sort of thing as before. Snag this again. And yeah, I think we're gonna take it like this. I'm gonna wanna do an interesting little window thing here. So I'm gonna leave that blank for the moment. I am liking this so far a lot. I'm liking it a lot. So now that we have this, we need to work a little bit on this middle section and getting it a little better defined so that we can, you know, start putting all of this stuff together. So I'm going to take this again and I'll just cut this across here. For the meantime, I'm just going to do this just to cover that up. Um, you know, connect it all together. Maybe I'll do this here. I don't know what we'll do with that stuff yet. We'll, we'll figure it out as we, sir, you are on the roof. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, this I'll want to continue down like that. And we might bring this out here too. Again, just feeling it out, seeing how it goes. Let's maybe continue these to here until we get to this section that will become a fireplace eventually. And then in here, I would like to make this more red. So I want this central thing to, uh, you know, ha have the same kind of effect as this part. So I'm going to give it a... Um, a trim of spruce and then it'll go back to the mossy part so let's bring this up by one more block okay perfect so here's the general idea of the trim right but I want it to kind of droop around the edges kind of like this is so this is you know doing this dip here this one is going to do a dip like this so we're gonna get a kind of opposite effect that I think will look really nice so we're gonna take these out and uh, how do I want to go about this? Let's try it like this, I think. This is looking good. This is looking good. So then I'm going to continue this and put these here and these here. And they're going to join like this. And we're going to do this on every single side. All right. So this is what it's looking like so far. And I'm also wondering what it would look like if we bring these down. Let's just, let's just see how it looks. I do like that, actually. I do. Okay. And now that we have this little gap here, I'm going to bring these up by another block as well. And then we're going to have the inner part of this roof spire which is gonna be based around these mossy blocks, just like the main chunk of the roof here as well. I think I'm gonna start off with blocks here. I want it to have a little bit more height than the spruce. And then we'll need more blocks here. And we're gonna need, you can do a block or a slab, I guess. We're gonna use this for a kind of upward spire effect so let me go back to moss and grab some of these and then I think I'm also I'm also gonna hmm, trying to decide if chain or a lightning rod would be better let's try it with a chain and see how that looks so these are gonna go here and then we're going to have these Go like this. In fact, I might change these to whole blocks instead. Mm, yeah, I think I'm liking that. Nice. And then we're going to do this here again. Wonderful. And now these are going to extend 
upwards once again. Let's take a step back and look at it. Let's look at it from the ground as well. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. Let's lift up here, and we're going to bring this up higher. And then... Oh. Oh, no. There we go. Let's see how that's looking. Might still tweak it a little bit. We'll see. But I'm liking it so far. And then we'll have these on top of here. A little bit of extra pokey pokey. A little bit of extra height. And that's looking nice. Okay. Looks very good and witchy. Like this part here. Oh, yeah. Um, so we need to work a little more on adding some texture and adding some details and picking some places for windows. We don't have any windows. Let's start punching some holes in the wall. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a window right here. Uh, I think we're going to have another little weird one right there. We're going to have um, a window here and a window here as well. This is for the fireplace. Yeah, I think one here and here. Let's try to make a large one. It, there's so many bats in here. <laughs> Let's try to make a large one right here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Kind of debating how I want to do this. Let's try it slightly smaller. Go back to the mud, and we're going to need a bunch of different varieties. And up here, I think I'm going to do it like this. That way we have like a little bit of a, you know, bent in space here. See if it looks good with it on the bottom as well. Stained glass, and we're going to go with... Let's try out black and see how that looks. I think I like that a lot. And then this right here is going to be a door. All right, now the other thing I think I'm going to do is actually open up the roof here, and I'm going to put a window right there. So let's see what it looks like if we take a couple of these and put them on the sides here. And then maybe we'll try a little bit of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then we'll have that right there. And actually, let's do a slab right there. And now we have a little bit of a window poking out as well. I think we should add a trap door. Let's see how these ones look there. If we just go like that, we can put these here as well. So what I want to do now is add a little bit of texture. So we're going to take this packed mud, put it in the walls. We're going to take some of this and this. So this packed mud looks like it's crumbled a bit more, right? So I'm going to put this on the bottom because it's kind of bearing the weight. So instead of just a big mix of stuff, there's a little bit more of a, a gradient here, you know? We're going to put that one there because I'm thinking like maybe the corner of this building bears a little more weight. That's kind of the logic here. I think that's looking pretty good. I don't know how the bricks will look too close to each other, like these bricks and the mud bricks. You know what? I'm actually not too mad at that. I'm not too mad at that. Let's let's try this a little bit more. I'm gonna put this in here, and then maybe one more piece up there. Stand back and see how it looks. Ooh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so similarly to how we did the mud stuff, I'm gonna leave the granite a little closer to the bottom more often to make it look like it's where the bricks have kind of eroded away. Okay, so now that we've done those, we need to go in with this stuff and texture the roof a little bit. So with this one, I'm gonna make clumps of it where it looks like it, like one piece has deteriorated and then a bunch of other pieces have like also deteriorated because they're attached to it. Now let's stand back and have a look. That's looking awesome. So we're gonna do the same thing up here. Yeah, I actually like the idea of continuing this out like it's a trim now that I'm seeing that there. All right, now we need a floor inside. So I'm going to make the base of this all out of stone bricks, and then we're gonna go through and detail it. So now we can go back in and add a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to focus uh, the mossy things 
a little bit more to the edges. Imagining that kind of like mildew and stuff is, is growing around the, the edges of the building. This is looking good. And then I want to take the cracked ones and place them more along the middle because that's where I would imagine people would walk the most and so it's probably the most worn out out of everything here. So what we need to do now on the inside is clean this up a little bit. So I'm actually going to remove all of these. Now we can get a better image of what we have to work with in terms of space in here. I want it to look a little bit rustic, a little bit old, right? So we're gonna take these things and uh, in a few places like this, we're gonna bring them across the top as support beams. And this is what it's kind of looking like on the inside. Now in a few places, I would like to replace these. But when you strip these, these get incredibly light and I want this place to look older. So we are going to replace them with this strip spruce. So in a few places, we'll just go in and do this. Mm, these ones, of course. And I'm going to try to put these kind of in segments when they're in these big sections like this instead of just random little blocks because I want it to kind of look like the bark is peeled off or weathered down there, and usually that happens in, in strips. Like, imagine one piece of the bark has started to come off and it takes a bunch of other pieces with it. All right, now up here, I would like this part of the ceiling to look a little older. So we are going to use this stuff so that we keep this look on the inside. Yeah, I think we're gonna make that level right there, and we are just going to go in and replace whatever the block above is with the same sort of thing. So that was mossy cobble. So we're gonna do this, mossy brick, brick, cobble. So now we need to tune up a few more things on the outside. We need a door, which I'm also going to make as a spruce door. Now that we're just going all in with the spruce, that'll sit right there. And then I'm gonna take some trap doors and maybe this as well. And every once in a while, we're just gonna give a little windowsill like that. We can put some shutters on the side of this as well. <laughs> Not that those would close to encompass that whole window, but for a little bit of, of look. I also would like to put some trapdoors on the side here to give it a little more of a, of a gradual angle into this very narrow point at the top. This is looking really cool so far. I am so happy with this. So now we need to figure out this. And I think that I am going to lean in with some brick stuff and then we can get that smoke puffing out the top. And it looks a little bit more lively that way. We have two things left to do. One, an interior. Two, some external terraforming to fit this into the landscape a little bit better and make it more interesting. Here it is is and the golem is still here very perseveringly trying to be part of this i love how this turned out i did a couple other changes to the house i changed up the top a little bit made it the spiky instead of the stairs i added this little overhang to this window and then i put these signs up here so uh in the future if you want me to directly walk through more of the the landscaping and the interior then i will do so just let me know but in the meantime i will just give you well the little time lapse of the outside that i gave you and in a second we're gonna walk around the what are you on the roof for we're gonna walk around the inside too so on the outside here there's some nice little trees and overgrowth i have some coarse dirt and then i have some of these um, trap doors that look like they're kind of holding it up to prevent it from smushing it towards the house more. Yeah, good bit of trees back here, good bit of overgrowth. I have some leaves that are climbing up the house, which also, little tip on the leaves, don't just spatter them randomly around. Make them look like they're growing up from somewhere. That way they have some sense of purpose, you know? It makes it look like they're there uh, for a reason. There's wither rose in this window. And a bunch of nether wart for potion brewing, of course. And let's let's have a look inside. So I have these uh, trap doors here so that if you put a villager in here, it's not going to be able to get out. Then I have 
a turtle and some rabbits in a cage here because they're used in potion making. The foot and the the scoot? I don't remember. Is that what it's called? Um, and then there's some other potion-y things uh, on some item frames on the wall. Yeah, it's just I try to put some things in here that are a little, a little spooky feeling. And there's the little skylight that we've got. And we can go upstairs. There's a small seating area, a little bit of storage, some windows that you can look out of. Um, a little weird to get to, but they work. And then there's a loft up here with a bed and a nightstand. And uh, you can look out windows up here too. I really like how it turned out. It's very uh, whimsical feeling, which I'm very, very much enjoying leaning into that sort of thing right now. And if we go out this way, this is how we get to... I guess you could call it a garden with all the nether wart in it. Yeah, I am really happy with this. So, 12 more villager houses to go, and hopefully they will all turn out this good. If you enjoyed the video, then let me know in the comments down below, and uh, let me know what other ones of these houses you're excited about seeing, and I will see you in the next one. Let's see if I can zoom this properly. <laughs> yeah, I can. Bye.